me simpler. All you have to do is fill in the place. What do I have to do? Hire a nursemaid to hold your hand, put ribbons in your hair? Oh, that's what I have to tell this is you. If you want him down, this is no huge problem, Albert. You should be able to fill out a form correctly. Do that, mister, then I'll just have to get somebody who can. I'm gonna ask you again. Get back to your desk, Rebecca. I was a good boy. What's happening, boy? I was a good boy. Well, well. What are you doing here? Smell business. Third bureaucrat this month. Enough of this shit. Tell Carl to shoot him. He's fucking up traffic. What's his name? Jeffrey Arthur Bros of the um, Interstate Commerce Commission. <laughs> Whatever the hell that is. <laughs> did you say that? You said the what? The Interstate yes, Commerce sir. Commission? He yeah. didn't say that. Yes, he did. Here, hold it. Just tell him don't shoot. Don't shoot. Regis. Get back here. Just hang on a second. Strap in. This is going to get weird. No, I got to talk to this guy. No, no. Go away. Go away. Hey, 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 hey. Don't go away. Wait, wait, wait. Any improper behavior on the part of any employee. Okay, just be easy, man. Look, I just want to talk, right? See? I got no gun. No. Got no gun. No, I, I will right? kill I just, myself. I believe you. I believe you. I just want to ask you a question. Now, you work for the Interstate Commerce Commission, right? No, they let me go. They just threw me out. You too? They evicted me too? I mean, they bought up my whole apartment building so they could turn it into a, a, a parking garage for their... They're so what unfair. A, I agree. The, 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 the durable goods division. Now, what can you please tell me what the hell that is? What is that? Don't work there anymore, and they're on the second floor. But do you know anybody I could talk to? Because I've been writing, and I've been phoning them. I sent no. an email, and nobody calls me. They're just no. jerking me around. I'm telling you, it's driving me crazy, man. No, I'm me. crazy. <laughs> they were going to shoot you, Jeffrey. Right, strangers. What are you, insane? Comes on safety. All right, boys. I'm thinking this looks uh, handled. Come on, Stingle. Let's get out of here. Six secure.
Sector 1 secure. Go! Freeze! Corey Lucchese. I work here. Sector 5, secure. It's a gun on you. Get up, slowly. Sorry, sir. Sector 2 secure. Sector 3 secure. All sectors are secure. America held hostage, day 182. A special report. CNN has just received this smuggled video footage showing American AWACS soldiers in captivity and under extreme duress. You see this? Government officials expressed outrage upon viewing these tapes. Pentagon sources say the U.S. 7th Fleet remains on full alert in the Sea of Japan at this hour. Air Force officials have reiterated their initial statement describing the AWACS crew's mission as a routine flight. Can you Space believe this? I mean, what is this president waiting for? Aircraft carrier in the Gulf. North Korea maintains the AWAC crew. At least hold it one word or two. August 2nd. Let's clearly spying in their airspace. Damn. In the face of growing Capitol Hill support for military intervention, the president called for patience and stated that the negotiations were proceeding. Oh, I see. So you negotiate for 13. How many you go to war for? 14? That it? I mean, everything's about numbers. Two drinks a day. Healthy. Three, uh, you know, you're an alcoholic. That's your third. Nick, hit me again, man. Yeah? Regis. Mm -hmm. It's far. Okay. I'm not here. I'm not here. <laughs> Gabby. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a coat and a tie. 1600, what? straight down this hallway to the left. Upper torso and base neck. It's going to be five to eight centimeters across. Rividity and rigor are progressing. I will not well. Jimmy. Get in here and take a look at this, man. 24, 25 years old top. She's a baby. Man, what is the world coming to? Time she found. About 11. Name? Carla Town. My best guess is she's dead, maybe three hours. Who was the first family? Camp David. Left yesterday afternoon. So, you got an idea what the murder weapon is? Well, it's not as clean as a knife for each. You see that jagged edge on the wound there? It's not big enough to be scissors, so I figure it must be something smaller. Excuse right? me, all film stays in-house. Orders. Whose orders, Tepper? Anyone know what she was doing here so late? You're not cleared. Who invited you here anyway? We did. Sir, he's not cleared. He's a DC homicide cop. Well, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Spikings, what I see over there is a, it's a homicide. But jurisdiction. Jurisdiction can go to hell. 
With all due respect, I'm in charge of White House security. With all due respect, I'm the president's national security advisor. A woman murdered in the White House, 40 yards from where the president sleeps, is a matter of national security. Helen Jordan. Yes, Holland Regis, homicide. Sir, do you happen to know what she was doing working here so late on a Friday night? Well, the government doesn't shut down just because it's Friday. Oh, yes, I understand. Uh, oh, and uh, do you know how many people were in the White House? 31. 31. Yeah. All right, carry on, detective. Thank you, sir. I'd like you to avoid using two words if you give any statements to the media. The words are woman and murder. You say all information will be forthcoming on an appropriate and timely basis. Punch words are appropriate. Oh, Mr. Spikings. We do not refer One to the town as a murder victim. I'm going to need everything you have on us. What she was working on. You'll get what's material. Well, this is D.C., and unfortunately, she's mine. She was murdered in the White House, not in some alley out in Southeast. She was killed in my city. She was killed in my house. Don't you ever forget that? He's all yours. Hey, I'm just trying to do my job. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to get my briefings from CNN, right? No, you get it from your Secret Service liaison. For the task force. Well, he didn't assign me one. Yes, he did. Nina Chance. I see. They think I'm Boo Boo the Fool. Excuse me? So I guess he figures that I'll be easier on you than I would some rookie with acne, right? Uh, Detective, I am an online agent for the United States Secret Service, which means, among other things, that I am fully qualified to answer any questions relating to White House security. Furthermore, I resent the implication that... Furthermore, you resent the implication? Man, people don't even speak English in this town anymore. <sighs> Detective, it's this way. I know that. There's been no statement yet about what's happening in the White House. We've been told only that the first family is at Camp David for the weekend. As you can see behind me, the immediate area has been sealed off. Sheldon Turcott, CNN, at the White House. So why kill someone from the Office of Protocol? Yeah, maybe she sat some ambassador in the wrong seat. Oh, well, they kill you for that now. It's a tough town. You know, if I would have known, I would have put a turnstile in your charged admission or something. Who else was here? Um, Secret Service. They started around 11.15. And can you believe they even took her garbage? Anyway, if you guys want me, I'll be downstairs 101. Well, thank you very much. Anytime. Wait a minute. The body's found at 11 o'clock, and the feds arrive here 15 minutes later. How do you do that? Yeah, <laughs> they don't even have cool sirens like we do. Look at her photo album. Look at this, Regis. Is this the only one? It's the only one I see, but, you know, I just got here. I can tell you that the apartment is registered in the name of, uh, Brooklyn Associates, but that is about all I have right now. Two on the beach. White House giving out some pretty sweet Christmas bonuses this year. Yeah, it looks that way. I want a complete list of everybody in house last night between nine and eleven. And don't tell me that it's classified. Quick on the draw, huh, Agent Chance? There's only thirty names here. All whereabouts accounted for. Spikins told me that there were 31. I mean, I see his name here. So whose name is missing? Well, apparently, Agent Spikings was mistaken. The count is 30, in-house. Better 
to check it out. On it. So, Agent Chance, where are you from? Iowa. Iowa, huh? So why the Secret Service? I mean, why not? Why not? Kindergarten teacher? No, nah, you don't look like one of those at all. I was in the Olympics. The Olympics? That's how oh. I got in the Secret Service. <laughs> Is that right? I was on the sharpshooting team. We met President Reagan. It was 1988. One of his agents was a woman. She sort of took me under her wing. Mm -hmm. Sharp shooting. <laughs> I feel safe already. I brought home the gold. Wow. <laughs> Where are we going? To my place. I gotta change. You're being evicted? The old damn building. Feds are tearing it down to put up a parking garage for the, uh... For the, uh... Interstate Commerce Commission? Yeah. What do they need a parking lot around here for? The hell if I know. I've been trying to figure that out. The whole building thinks that I can fix it because I'm a cop. Harlan, what's going on? Miss Wallace. Look, in less than a month, we're going to be living out on garbage cans. I'm making progress, Miss Wallace. Truly, I am. Progress? Yes. Is that what you call it? Progress. I should say you are making some progress. You better take care of your business, boy. You know that that's what you should be doing is taking care of your business, making progress. I know what he's making progress at. <sighs> hey, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Washington City, July 21st, 1861. And this is Manassas, first battle of the Bull Run. Come here, I'm gonna show you something. Right here? That's where Stonewall Jackson got his nickname. That's Sudley Springs there. Yeah, civilians used to come on that crest over there and take carriages and picnics to watch the battle. Amazing, huh? How did you... Well, I'm a homicide cop in the homicide capital of the world. It's cheaper than a shrink. You did this all by yourself? Mm-hmm. Yep. The whole thing. My father was a history buff, so I guess it kind of rubbed off on me. And what did he do? Well, he worked at the Smithsonian for about 34 years as a guard. <sighs> How am I going to move all of this? I mean, first I got to take it all apart, and then I got to put it all back together again? Oh, no. Hell no. I can't move. I'll be right back. Claim check. I sent Greeley to the drugstore. Hey. Hi. Right, let's see what we got. And there she is. Live and in color. Where'd you get these? Gonna be late for the autopsy. We gotta go. Our visa card activity, last 24 hours, banning travel, 1,500 bucks. I got it by a nose there. Our phone records, a credit card, a bank account, all impounded, now classified. She had a shuttle flight to New York, a reservation at the Pierre, Hertz rental car, connecting flight to the Virgin Islands, St. Croix, one way. Lady was buying herself a new life. She wasn't coming back either. The evidence indicates a crime of passion. There's clear evidence of vaginal penetration. There's traces of lubricant in the vaginal tract and under the fingernails. The blows were from the left and powerful. A condom was used. No semen, 
No blood except hers. No DNA. Signs of force? No. So you're saying sex, not rape? This doesn't leave the room. It was here we saw the image of an untroubled President Jack Neal before the White House murder cast a dark cloud over this once highly regarded administration. Secret Service found him working in the East Room at 11.02. The time of her death has been set between 10.30 and 11. The guy used a jelly donut, and then he stabs her eight times. Lee Harvey Oswald was seen in the book depository cafeteria drinking a Coke a minute after Kennedy was shot. He's reading soap opera, digest. Two months ago. If that's all you got, you got nothing. Except this. It was found in the bathroom. It's the missing button from a shirt found in Lucchese's apartment. Lucchese doesn't clean the bathrooms. All right, where is he? They're picking him up. What would it take for me to see all the surveillance tapes from that night? Not much. Just an act of Congress. After you, Detective. Ah. <clears throat> Hal, that button was labeled as being found in the dining room. How did it get up in the lavatory? Uh, I just must have labeled it wrong. Did you come on to Carla Town? Yeah. I came on to her. You ever get a look at her? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you ever take it any further than that? Uh, no. I mean, listen to me. Carla was strictly hands off. What do you mean, hands off? I don't know. But that was, but that was the word, the Secret Service was looking out for her. How? Oh, well, uh, like if she worked late, say, um, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, or, or the Secret Service guys, they would always drive her home. This is an act of war. 
This is the Pueblo Revisited. And he wants to negotiate. Give me a break. Neil negotiating to defend us at a table? Why, he can't even defend his own house. Friend, friend, look, let me remind you. China and North Korea have had a defense pact for 35 years. You don't want to go in there with thousands, maybe tens of thousands of American lives just to save 13 years. You're right, Iraq. Right. How did you get down here? door two inches and slide your weapon out nice and easy. Right, don't make me have to stain my linen. Nasty ass city, Regis. Congratulations, you are now a statistic. Let me see that. Son of a bitch. So they're eavesdropping, for Christ's sake. Big surprise. It's the government. Look. They brought you in on this for the same reason they brought the doctors in Dallas to work on Kennedy two hours after he was killed. They had to be seen to be going the extra mile so that nobody could say they could have done more. Well, you never would have let me hold Lucchese on what they have. You know that. All right, go back and take another look at it. But don't make any fucking noise till you have something real. Yes, sir.
This is full frame. The drugstore machines automatically crop. Can you get me closer to this? No problem. He's Secret Service. Can you make me a hard copy? Thank you. You're the man. Can I have a uh, fruit juice, please? Hey, aren't you uh, the, the speaker of the house? Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? I'm good, thanks. Right. Hey, listen. Do you ever speak to anybody at the Interstate Commerce Commission? Uh, some organization, something, I'm, I'm not really sure, but they're evicting me. They they evicting Excuse me, home. Mr. Speaker. The detective services are needed elsewhere. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll call you. Right. Yeah. What are you doing here? I'm trying to find you. Look, the task force is closed. We have a suspect. Yeah, me too. Who's there? He's Secret Service, you should know. Who is he? I can't tell you. What, is that classified too? Yes, it is. Okay, I'll just have to find out for myself. There he is, right there. The one who just stepped to the podium. That's him. What's his name? I can't tell you that. Well, look, either you help me or I'll have to find out the loud way. All right. Please. What's his name? Burton Cash. Who's he assigned to? Kyle Neal. The president's son? Well, Ladies and gentlemen, it brings me great honor to present the first lady of the United States, Mrs. Kitty Neal. Was there. That means that Kyle was on that boat as well. Domestic violence has shattered three more homes in America. Kyle Neal was having an affair with Carla Town. He's the one who had sex with her that night. Silence right here right says now. the lie that says all is well. Well, my friends, I better go. Hey, how long do you think it'll be before the media finds out that the president's son? was banging her an hour before she died. So it's I've got to go. Gather together here nice dress. With industry and concerned citizens and say it's enough. You ought to have no further contact with Detective Regis. Is that understood? What if he initiates contact, sir? Then I want a report, detailed and immediate. Written? Just shot. Beginning with what you two just discussed right now.
revenge. Excuse me? You should get revenge. And how do I go about getting that? Move to New York, become a big model. Don't take his phone calls anymore. Interesting. <laughs> I need a drink. Do you like one? Your treat? Uh-huh. Sure. What would you like? Whatever the lady's buying. Bourbon? Nice. After two bourbons, she's telling me his underwear preference and that his one mission in life is to get laid in every room in the White House. It sounds like a plan to me. She even told me this. She said once Kyle even bragged about sharing a mistress with his father. Carla Town? Well, she wasn't sure who. Well, it gets better than that. Her uncle's company, Brookland Associates, leading East Coast fundraiser for Jack Neal. Really? I mean, the company leased the president's campaign space, owned her apartment. Oh, well, this is good. <laughs> this is very good. I hope you know what you're doing. Good night now. Night, dear. What, do you want to see my badge? Why did you come here? So I'm digging. I'm going through the People magazine and just happened to come across page 16. I find a picture of Kyle coming back from Brazil. And you're standing next to him with an earpiece. You know, I must have looked at 18 months of pictures of this guy. And you know what I found? I found that you were in over half of them. You were on his detail and you didn't tell me. Until when? I have nothing more to discuss with you about this. The case is closed. Agent Chance, when did they remove you from Kyle's detail? You show up here grilling me about work? Just answer the question. Don't come to my home again. Answer the question! You waltz in here expecting me to violate every oath I've ever taken! I have a duty oh, to duty. protect. Your duty could send an innocent man to prison for the rest of his life. Are you comfortable with that? I, I think you should leave. How is it that Spikens finds a button in the bathroom that no other detective found, huh? What, did he plant it there? I asked you to leave. Did he plant the button? I don't know, okay? Everybody's lying around. Okay, so again, why did they remove you from Kyle's detail? They didn't remove me. <sighs> One night, I heard sounds of violence, fighting, coming from his apartment. So I went in, and I found him beating up his girlfriend. It was ugly. And they, we, covered it up for him. That was even uglier.
And that's when I ask to be reassigned. Look, Nina, I don't know what I would do if I was you. But I do know one thing. I could not let an innocent man fry for something he did not do. Maybe you can. said to have been in the White House at the time of the murder. I have this to add to the Carla Town effects. Could you open it, please? Sure. Thank you, Agent Chance. problem? No, I finally found everything. You all done then? Yeah. yeah. Spikings wants to see you. Now. Is there anything I should know about? I don't know. Is there? You were in the Olympics. You know what it means to be a team player? Sharpshooting isn't a team sport. Well, this is. We put our lives on the line. Every single day. You have to trust the people you work with. Is there a problem? You tell me. This case is closed. So I've heard. Arlen Regis hasn't. You would tell us if he tried to contact you, wouldn't you? Of course. Good. Because if anybody found out he had elicited your support for his paranoid theories, I'd hate to think how that would look. What people might think. 
as a team? Why is the door shut? Excuse me? Why are your hands on me? Because if anyone walked in here, I'd hate to think how that might look, what people might think. As a team. In this day and age, they might get the wrong idea. Sir, Agent Chance examined Carla Town's effects eight minutes ago. Get her. And Cooper, do it quietly. Yes, sir. Need a chance. Find her and lock her down. You two cover the stairwell. I'll take the front. I got it, I got it. Ratings drop 19 percent. Your point? The point is that it's enough to distract anybody. From making a sober judgment? I can't defend my own house, so how am I going to defend America? We're a superpower. We should act like one. And so is China, which the last time I looked had a defense pact with North Korea. We can handle China. Now. Ten years time at the rate they're arming, who the hell knows? Mr. President, let's bring the boys back. We can go in with special forces. Alvin? General Tully has a point. Poll this morning in the New York Times, Jack. 53% of America think we should strike the North Koreans. Now, the vice president's point just amplifies mine. Mr. President. Jack. I'm not going to war over this. Alvin. I want the 7th Fleet to stand down, not turn around. Stand down. If that doesn't bring them back to the table, we'll reconvene. 
All right, thank you, Mr. President. Gentlemen, you may be prepared to sit around here while they're torturing our boys. I'm not. We're not being passive. We're being patient and prudent. Mr. President, I feel duty-bound to tell you that your lack of action here borders on the criminal. Then you've done your duty, General. Now I'll do mine. I expect your resignation on my desk in the morning. You shall have it. That's all, gentlemen. Alvin. What's the matter? Yeah. This is called this tape from my answer machine. That's right. Well, how'd you get it? I stole it. Look, here's what you need in your appointment book. She has a meeting and they're scheduled for tomorrow in New York. Craig Nisker and Associates? He's the king of tell-all. His agency sold five of the top ten scandal memoirs of all time. That's his motive. I'll be damned. Jack, Kyle, and Carla. Oval Office threesome. Figured she was gonna burn the whole family. She was gonna score big with this. I guess Kyle found out about it. We can place him at the scene of the crime, and we know that he had a history of violence against women. That's it. Oh, he's mine. Well, you just don't get it, do you? These people can make us disappear. Get out of here. Where are you going? I checked into a motel. I'll call you. Be careful. The court may direct what? Mr. Peterson. Uh, under 2198 of the criminal code, the court may allocate a fine for the uh, children of the victim. Please, Mr. Peterson, please. What is it? The porch light's on, but nobody's home? Is that it? <laughs> or the victim's spouse. Incorrect, Mr. Peterson. The court may direct that the amount of the fine when paid be paid for the use of the female seduced or her child, if she have any. Now, pursuant to this statute, we have Desmond versus Presley, which states, where testimony in rape prosecution concerning clothing of defendant was technically... What is it, Mr. Neal? Heavy date? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. car, right? Off me. Easy. Oh, Jesus Christ, man, you are a son of a bitch. You know, I'm gonna have your goddamn badge. You know that? Why don't you just shoot her if you had this, huh? And you know who I am? You know who you're dealing with? I don't give a shit who you are. You're going down. Turn around. Get off of me. Get over here. Just like a big fish. 
fell right for the bait. <clears throat> Only a guilty man would do that. Yeah, or a man who wants to know who's trying to frame him. You were with her that night. You had sex with her and then you offed her. Oh, Jesus. You think it was an accident that she was murdered an hour after I slept with her? Someone knew I'd be there with her that night. Yeah, maybe somebody with a motive as good as yours. What motive? Did your father have sex with Carla Town? I don't know my father's sexual resume. You knew that she was leaving town, though? Yeah, I read the newspapers. Uh -huh. Two nights in New York, a connecting ticket to the Virgin Islands, and a Hertz rent-a-car. So? So Carla Town didn't have a driver's license. You think I killed Carla? Yeah. You think you could prosecute me? Your arms don't reach that high, detective. Still don't understand why you showed up? I go to sleep every night thinking about a woman with eight stab wounds. A woman that I slept with an hour before. You try that as a sleeping pill. Hey, you forgot something. fast rivaling the North Korean hostage taking as an issue of concern for the White House, the murder of Carla Town remains unsolved. As the attention of Washington homicide detectives turned to Kyle Neal and the president's approval ratings continue to plummet, we must ask, will Carla Town be Jack Neal's Chappaquiddick? At this hour, no one knows where the trail will end. We do know that for an administration already knee-deep in troubled waters of a potentially international confrontation in North Korea, a serious domestic concern of this nature is especially dangerous to the president's public image. If Jack Neal is unable to protect the workers under his own roof, was murdered, they were in the White House. How do you know this? That morning, I almost shot their golden retriever. They never go anywhere without that dog. Tonight, I saw footage of them coming back from Camp David with the dog. Their alibi is complete bullshit. So that means they took them to Camp David after the body was discovered? Yeah. Spikings. He could have smuggled them out. How? With the tunnels underneath the White House. Well, hey, look, I built this city, remember? I just can't believe this. They covered it up, they got them out? Yeah. Why? Because then they would be considered suspects just like everybody else. Why should they be, though? That's the question. Because he's the president of the United States. What does that mean? That he doesn't have a motive? He has a mistress about to drop a tell-all. That's motive enough. Wounds are from the left. President Neal is right-handed. Yeah, I noticed that. He writes with his right hand, but he swings a baseball bat in a golf club with his left. Yeah, she's still there. Now, do you want me to finish this? No, they're right where we want them. We're right on schedule. Thanks, Regis. I appreciate it. 
I can take care of myself. I want you to lay low until I get to Jordan or Spike. Okay? okay. Yeah. Secret Service. <clears throat> Back door. Rock star. I'd reassign you, but it'd make even more news. Come in. Call for you, Detective Regis. Not taking any calls. It's the White House. How lovely for you. That was some stunt you pulled last night, Detective. Last night had nothing to do with me. I was off duty. Why do I find that difficult to believe? I don't care what you believe. I want to know why the president was in residence the night of the murder, and you didn't tell me. The president's not to be involved. The president is about to become an official suspect. Oh, suspect. Look, it's my duty to question You're the You're not questioning the president. The presidency is an institution, not a person. An institution will be protected at all costs. How do you think we got them out of there that night? I don't know, maybe cover up a crime. No, to get the smell of blood away from the North Koreans. They'd eat us alive. We'd never get our boys back. This is global, Detective. It's a little bit off your turf. This is a homicide. This is my turf. Let me tell you something. I've known Jack Neal for three decades. I'm godfather to his son. Your suspicions are ludicrous. Lucchese's a stooge. Then prove it. How? Nobody can pinpoint the actual time of death, and he can't prove his whereabouts for an hour. There are 27 cameras covering the hallways of the working White House. You're telling me none of them captured her walking down the hallway within three minutes of her death? Are you trying to tell me? The tapes are classified. Out of my reach. You Republican or Democrat? I think Washington is drowning in a sea of its own bullshit. Those 13 men aren't risking their lives over bullshit, pal. Well, this is not about those 13 men. It's about a dead woman in the White House. You know, Harvard did a study. It said you could measure a man's longevity by the first thing he turns to in the morning paper. Well, I'm an obituary man. Start with the comics, you'll live longer.
Whoever leaked this, I'm gonna bottle their last breath. Sir, if she was alive at 1049, she had to be murdered while after... This doesn't change a damn thing about Lucchese. Nobody saw him until 1102. That still gave him 13 minutes to do the job. Regis, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna put the president in a lineup? Okay, you're Carla Town. You're about to sell this story for a shitload of money. You're gonna move to paradise. You buy a one way ticket never to return, right? This is Nearest calling for Carla Town, confirming Monday between 8 and 12 to install a trash compactor you bought yesterday. Why the hell would you have a trash compactor installed two days after you're gone? Maybe she forgot? Well, she just bought it the day before. What? <sighs> Shit! Monday 4.30, right? Hey, Regis. And the handwriting on the 23rd? The slope of the writing is different. But here, look at this. The loop on the top of this L is smooth and continuous. In the day planner, here, there's an obvious pause in the writing, mm -hmm. which indicates a deliberate stroke. Here. It's on the B as well. This is a forgery. There never was an appointment. She wasn't going anywhere. Vikings entered at 12.09, left at 12.14. Yes? Yes, sir. Surveillance tapes. He had clearance. Thank you. Bob? Yes, sir. I want to talk to Detective Regis, DC Homicide. He's gonna to want to question Nick Spikings. Get me Spikings' address in Alexandria. Yes, sir. Somebody's been playing us like puppets. What are you saying? Carla Town wasn't killed to protect the administration. She was murdered to destroy it. What do you mean? I'm saying that somebody dumped the dead body in the White House so that the blood trail could lead right to the first family. They even manufactured the motive. Have any idea what it takes to stand all day in one place watching a dumpster in the pouring rain? 
Because that dumpster just happens to be next to a hotel where the president is going to be staying the following day. And his life is in your hands. Loneliest job in the world. Get rid of the wire. I know who's listening anyway. You haven't read me right at all. I see my life and my service with a clarity you're incapable of grasping. <laughs> Our sharpshooter. Save it. Freeze China out if they stand with North Korea. All talks for a grain deal cease until they stand down. If China wants grain, I want our boys back. You got five minutes, Al. I'm afraid it's going to take longer than that. It's bad news, Mr. President. Still Jack, Alvin. Nick Spikings is dead. What? And he had evidence that Kyle killed Carla Town. Spikings collected it. They found a condom with Kyle's semen and the woman's fingerprints on it. They found the murder weapon. And a surveillance tape putting Kyle and the woman together just minutes before the murder. There's got to be another explanation. Oh, no. No, no. And Spikings was just about to cut himself a deal to leak it. Nick Spikings. He wouldn't do that to me. Everybody has a price. <sighs> Not the first thing in your life you've been naive about, is it, Jack? Obviously not. Well, you're safe now. So is Kyle.
Vikings was murdered. Twenty one eighteen, that's nine eighteen. All right, he calls out there. Hey, we got a special on that model this week, folks. Four heads, twenty one. Back off. Sure. Only a couple left though. Just so you know. Twenty sixteen. He's sixteen, he comes in. You can even throw in a uh, universal remote with that, you know, that'll change your Back life. Back off! True, true. Take your time. Just uh, ask for Jack. He comes in and then he leaves. Wait, who's that? I know that guy. That's the guy that was at Spikings. The 31st name. Jordan walked him in. Jordan set up the whole thing. into the White House murder has resulted in two suspects. The car, a burgundy Chevrolet Caprice, has been identified as the possible suspect car. In other news, a strike is pending as workers' <coughs> contract talks come to There won't be anything anyone can prove. All the evidence will be destroyed. What do you want? Your resignation. Effective 10 p.m. You know, I don't know why you look surprised, Jack. Tully wasn't half right when he called it criminal. Because we didn't go in with guns blazing? You think that would have saved our you boys? You have failed, Mr. President. You have failed your office. Pity. Seen your cowardice grow from the very beginning. And then, finally, not having served your country in the military, you had no idea of the time-honored code of never leaving a man on the field of battle. You should have brought those AWACS boys home. Dead, wounded, or otherwise. You should have done it by force if necessary. Any president who serves up his country as appetizers for the enemy isn't fit for this office. So the choice is yours. You can, you can resign, say it's due to your health, and you can tour the best golf clubs in America. Or you can stay in office and you can watch your son destroy it. The choice is yours. Any father can call that a choice. Why didn't you just kill Neil? Because it's easier to kill the secretary than it is the president. Besides, alive and ruined is better. And what? Than dead and martyred. And now, a special moment. An Oval Office address is scheduled for 10 o'clock tonight. Unidentified sources say the president will resign. Jordan played his card. All right, it gives us two hours to get to the White House and the president. Are you insane? How? They use the tunnels the same way they got out. You don't even know where they are. Yeah, but you do. I mean, you know the security and you know the layout. You're out of your mind. Why? Because I'm about to help a government that's kicking me out on the streets. <laughs> you got no argument there. Hey, Alan. Don't say my name. 
Just listen. Remember when we had the double homicide two weeks ago? Yeah. Okay. Meet me there in one hour. You did it too. Evening, officers. Yeah. Tense night in the big city, huh? Yeah. yeah. Could be this thing with the president, maybe, huh? Nice to know, though, that we have our men in blue out here to watch the lie over us. This is the Washington Post. Okay. Hey, uh, didn't that old senator lay the wood to that stripper around here somewhere years ago? All right, uh. Take it easy this evening, huh? Just asking. Didn't All see right. it on my my guide map. Okay, we'll see you later. <laughs> Good huh? evening. All, All right, right Good evening. Good night. Good night. Come on, come on. Yes. Pipes go right through the wall. Good, because that's where we're going. After you're sworn in, you'll make a short statement saluting Jack Neal for his service to his country. You'll ask for the country's prayers for bipartisan unity. Now, would you two excuse us now, please? Thank you very much. Gentlemen, at 2,400 hours, President Dillon will sign off on the raid into North Korea. We're looking for a steel door. Corps engineers. These are the escape tunnels. Lincoln had these built in case the Confederates lay siege to the White House. Who says history isn't practical? We're running out of time. Go. You first.
I'll be okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. sensors. They tripped the alarm in the White House. You set those off and this room fills up with agents. How long? Ten seconds. Have we come too far to turn back now? Yeah. I'll hold them off as long as I can. Two, repeat movement in 102, subsector 11, tunnels. Repeat tunnels, subsector 11.
Clear Sector 7 right now and report back to the office. Agent captured. Get her up here. You can't be here. I am here. Seal the corridor. I am still the president! Seal the corridor! Alvin Jordan, you're under arrest for conspiracy in the murder of Carla Towns and Nicholas Spikings. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, you prick, one will be appointed by the courts. How did you get in here? I crawled. He's the one who gave Spikings the evidence on your son. The evidence is you, on tape, with the man you walked in to kill Carla Town. The same man who put a bullet through Nicholas Spikings. Stand him up. You don't have to believe me. Just look at the tape. It's in my back. Agent? Mr. President, Carla Town was killed to destroy you, to force your resignation. Then Jordan had Spikings shot because he saw the tape. Arrest him. What? Not him. Him. <sighs> My God, Alvin. You really had her killed, didn't you? I think President Teddy Roosevelt said it best. If I must choose between righteousness and peace, I choose righteousness. She was 25 years old. She was a child. She was a casualty of war. Mr. President. Get him out of here. Thank you, son. Stay easy. I'm right here. All right, hold on. No, there's absolutely no truth whatsoever to any of those rumors. At no time was President Neal planning on resigning from office. Here's what we know so far. The murderer of Carlatown is dead. 
He was killed today as he fired upon authorities attempting to arrest him in that same gun battle. National Security Advisor Alvin Jordan and Senior Secret Service Agent Nicholas Spikings were also killed. Was the president <laughs> Did the killer actually penetrate the White House with the objective of killing Miss Town? In 180 years, there's never been a penetration of the White House. President and Mrs. Neal will have a statement for you later. Thank you very much. Call DC Homicide. Tell them the detective we found in the tunnel is on his way to University Hospital. Paramedics say he's going to be fine. How is she? She's stable. You saved my life. And detective, how can I ever repay you? Mm. No bother, just doing my job. Well, there is one thing. Yes, detective? Have you ever heard of the Interstate Commerce Commission? Sure. Secretary Randall's office is right down the street. Right down the street? Yeah. See, it's not what you know, it's who you know. What are you doing for dinner? What are you doing? I mean, I'm not dressing. I'm afraid I'm going to stay.